Honorable Francis Maneke, uh, thank you so much for visiting us in, uh, in, in Millen Bay. This is actually the first time uh, and first agriculture minister to visit us, so we are, we are really happy to have you here with us this morning. Uh, General Secretary for OPIC, Jepson uh, Pupitan, thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing the minister to visit us here. Thank you so much. The province, provincial administrator, Dr. Uh, Igor Ragam, all the guests from the provincial uh, government office, and all of you here. Firstly, um, I'd like to say thank you for the minister coming down to uh, visit us. And Stuart, thank you for that uh, uh, speech, because I think a lot of things that I want to mention, you also mentioned it. Um, so maybe, maybe this speech will be short. But just to give uh, all of you some idea of what we have here in Millen Bay in terms of smallholders. Smallholders, we have a total of 882 uh, growers, okay? Of these, 24 blocks are not being harvested. They are being uh, harvested, they are being abandoned. If you compare 884 blocks, uh, we, um, we are quite small, actually, in fact, uh, in, in terms of the numbers. You have uh, West New Britain, that is very, very big, with, I think, over 30,000, is it 30,000? Uh, small orders. 21,000 in West New Britain. Now, 21,000 growers, uh, not growers, hectares in West New Britain for growers, it's like twice the size of Million Bay Estate. Huh? So that is massive. So for us, and now it's followed by Higaturu and uh, Poliamba, and for us it's very, very small. Though it is small, it's got potential for expansion, potential to become bigger. Now, I came here in uh, 2020, uh, around September. Smallholders yield in here in, uh, in, in Millen Bay was around eight, nine tons per hectare. But I want to say thank you to OPIC as well, because we have, uh, we have worked together to make improvements in these areas. Our yields at the moment, it's, it's ranging between 14 to 16 tons per hectare. Now that shows the, the um, assistance that we're getting from OPIP in terms of our block development and management and our smallholders uh, to Paul, Mark and the team from smallholders. We feel and believe that growers are an integral part of NBPOL. We can't do without you. We need you in what we produce here. And that is what makes it very important for all of us staying here, all of us who are listening to this message, that all pump block is important. I want to support what Mr. the, the, the um, chairman has said, OPIC chairman, uh, board chairman has said that you will see places like West New Britain West New Britain, the economy there, financial economy, is very, very high. The economy of the province is held by oil palm. One kind to Lo Popondata, to uh, Kaibiang, the economy of the province, uh, including Millen Bay, is held by uh, oil palm. Yes, there are so many cash crop, and the government tends to, uh, minister, the government always tends to forget that Oil palm is a very important part of us. If you look at the industry from 1980, you go 1990. In the 80s, coffee industry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you look at that trend and the charts properly, uh, in 1990, oil palm may take over. And oil palm is so far ahead that not even coffee or cocoa is nearby. But then, the question is, if you look at the history, government always tends to forget about oil palm. Planting time, intervention program for government, they look at other cash crop. They look at oil palm as a destroyer of environment. 
Huh? But for those of us that we know oil pump, oil pump is actually the best. In terms of, if you compare oil producing cash crops with other, cash, uh, other, other plants, like canola or all the other plants that produce oil, they have to cover so many hectares of land in order to produce one ton of oil. What is oil pump? In San Oligui area Tasso, we can produce one ton or one metric ton of oil. That makes it better than all the other oils. Economy of the province here, I know every time people are against oil palm, but if you look carefully at it, oil palm, I mean holy strong the province. A grower, you know, it's not only the wife and husband, but you have the brothers and sisters and uncles and aunties and, you know, your extended family. They, when they come to visit you, they have a cup of tea. That money to buy a cup of tea, uh, tea and sugar, comes from oil palm. So there are so many people in our communities that benefit from oil palm. That makes it oil palm very, very important in our community here. Just lately, we've been talking about a lot of things. We've been talking about the, uh, the policy for oil palm. We're talking about farm gate prices. And these are things that are of significant importance to us as well. We, as a million company, we agree with the government that the policy needs to be amended to improve so that our growers benefit, have maximum benefit. And so we are together with the government, together with oil palm industry, to see amendments, to see changes made to the policies. Minister, thank you for coming here. Uh, last year we had a meeting down at OPIC. Uh, our good honorable mem member, uh, Ricky Morris, uh, gave us, donated, first time a member coming to donate, and he's a Coco man, but he said, I don't know how I'm donating this money, but he donated 70,000 Kina to the company for uh, grower seedling. That money is still with us. Uh, the smallholder section is continuing to manage that, and we are still taking the seedlings out. With the ministers coming now, that is significant to us. But we were also thinking and believing that probably this is the tip of the iceberg. Huh? Next year we want to see more money. <laughs> to, the, to the growers, you must be happy that the government of today, um, Marate Rosso government, and this is the first government that has started putting money into uh, oil pump. Give big Pahanlo, I want to encourage all of you that oil palm is important. Oil palm is not like cocoa or coffee or not like cash crop. You get your fortnight pay, yeah, fortnight. You get your pay on a fortnightly basis. How much you get in a fortnight? It depends on input the Yukla 11, man Mary, your block holders. Your interest to look after the block, clean it, put fertilizer, take interest in it. And that is our intention with this uh, management now, a uh, million company. We want to work together with you people to make sure that you improve your block so you can have maximum return from your block. Do not steal from the company. We are experiencing a lot of theft from the from you growers. When you steal, you will get into trouble with the law. Okay, let's let's respect each other and let's work together for the betterment of all of you. RSPO is another point that has been raised, and I totally agree that the, under the current arrangement, uh, we can't plant any more uh, blocks because buy must go through various compliance requirements and it costs a lot of money. Company 2, I'm saying, we want to bring in plant more or extend our pump, we need to go through this. 
And this is one area that I think as a government uh, of PNG that can be looked at in a bigger way. How can we do things better so that uh, our people can benefit from it? One time this plan, I want to say thank you, thank you, Minister, and thank you all for listening to me this afternoon. Thank you.